Another busy day ahead of us? Love at first sight, sold at first strike. The wildfire used item auction is opening soon. If you are interested, head down to the Vagrant Camp and get involved. Outsider, I remember you. Perhaps you're hoping to find some treasures at the auction too. Don't just dash off. Let me tell you about it. I'm sure I can stoke your interest. We're not sticklers at this auction. You'll find everything from exotic Bellabog rarities to tattered roadside socks. Well, after Wildfire got involved in the maintenance of the Vagrant Camp, they saw there was a big resource distribution problem. People would rather keep a stockpile of useless objects than exchange them for useful resources. So we intend to hold a public auction. Will allow folks to make the best use of the stuff they have by exchanging it for the stuff they need. It's mostly vagrants from the camp, but Boulder Town residents are welcome to join as well, of course. The more attendees we have, the more items there will be for trade, and the better we can meet the auction's goal. Buyers and sellers must all register their personal information. To ensure the quality of items, the sellers must also register details for each item. Then there's the standard auction procedure. The auctioneer presents the items, and the bidders place their bids on the spot. Pretty straightforward, don't you think? Oh, plenty! Gloves used by Chief Oleg, the domestic robot that Miss Fedora built. There are lots of prospectors hunting for ancient relics in the Vagrant Camp, so there should be a lot of unique items at this auction. For example, I heard that one of the goods up for auction is a barely used Geomero probe. Ah, never heard of a treasure like that before, huh? More excited about the auction now? Oh, here. Take this pamphlet. It has more information on all the rarities up for auction. Remember to stop by the Vagrant Camp. Be there, or be square. I should tell Hook about the Geomero probe. She might want to help Fursman get his treasure back. about to go see you. Daddy's already planned his birthday party, but I haven't been able to sell Jun Jun or buy a gift for him. What should I do? How do I remember? You think of something. Ah, I was just about to ask you about the probe. How do I remember? You found some clues? The auction. So that's where the probe is? <laughs> that's nothing. You're here too. I've got the honorary member here to help me with the bidding. Hmm, Jun Jun is still with the old witch. Let's go get him and then register for the auction. Witchy old Natasha! <laughs> have, a, have you finished fixing Jun Jun? Oh, your teddy bear? <laughs> He's nearly done. Here, take a look at him. Wow, <laughs> he looks brand new! Natasha, you're incredible. Glad to be of service. <laughs> now then, did you really bring him over here with you just to pick up Jun Jun? Come on now, what are you guys up to this time? We're going to the auction! Ah, uh, no, no, that's not what we're going to do. Hey, you big mouth! The auction? The one at the Vagrant Camp? 
So you made me go through all this effort to repair Junjun just so you could sell him? I... um... Psst, I don't remember. Think of something. <laughs> you two make an adorable duo. I was only joking, Huck. Junjun is yours, and it's entirely up to you what you do with him. But you must make one promise to me. Wait, what is it? Don't go charging into the Fragmentum again. Mr. Fursman heard about what you did and came to me to find out what happened. Your dad worries about you. Stop giving him reasons to. Daddy? Mm, okay. I swear I'll never make Natasha or Daddy worry again. I'm going to have to trouble you to keep an eye on this kid again. You seem to be doing a good job, so I'll leave it at that. Off you go then, and good luck. Thanks, Natasha. Honorary member, let's head to the auction. Welcome! Are you here to take part in the auction? Yep. Huck wants to auction this teddy bear. Teddy bear? How about I take a look at it first, little missy? <sighs> With all due respect, I don't think this item will generate much interest at the auction. I don't see any value in it. Hmm. Okay, let me take another look. The craftsmanship is excellent, and the fabric is soft, but I'm afraid that won't command a high price on its own. The eyes... <sighs> Wait a minute. <laughs> That's natural Erebus. <laughs> what are precious gems doing on such an ugly teddy? Hey, who are you calling ugly? Take that back! Well, 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 who'd have thought it? <laughs> Allow me to make a suggestion. You should only auction off the gems. What are you talking about? You can't just take Junjun's eyes off. All right, all right. Don't get upset, little missy. I'll respect the wish of the owner and keep Junjun here intact. Please, sign this commodity contract here. Uh, let me do it. And if you and your friend would like to bid, please fill out this buyer registration form as well. Of course we'd like to bid. I'll sign again. Honorary member, ask about the probe. Probe? Are you talking about the Geo Marrow probe? As far as I know, there are a lot of people interested in acquiring that device. The estimated sale price is no less than 600 shield. Stop bluffing! Because it's a rare and useful treasure, the Geomaro probe will be up for bidding in the final round of the auction. But don't worry, the gems on your teddy bear are also very valuable. You'll have the chance to bid on the probe if someone's willing to pay a high price for him. Don't be so pessimistic. I'll tell you a secret. The more bidders there are, the more you can get for your bear here. The place is teeming with potential buyers. It only takes a gentle nudge to get them to join in. Huck doesn't get it. What are we supposed to do? Oh, I won't be much help then. Huck never deceives anyone. Let's ask around. Jinjun's super cute. I'm sure there will be loads of people interested in buying him. Uh, 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 uh. Well, look at that! That's 
no ordinary teddy bear. Oh, uh, sorry. I was in a bit of a trance. I didn't know someone was about to strike up a conversation. Huh. You don't look like you'll be bidding on much. So, I'll tell you. That teddy bear's eyes are genuine Erebus. But it's so absurd. I don't understand why precious gems would be sewn onto a teddy bear. Is this some new kind of scam? So you don't think Junjun deserves those gems? <laughs> Junjun? Who's that? <laughs> Why didn't you bring that up earlier? Your item has piqued my curiosity. In any case, Erebus of that purity is hard to come by in the underworld. I have to get my hands on that bear. Even if it means breaking the bank! <laughs> mm, Junjun will break your bank for sure! The gemologist will be bidding too. Hook's teddy bear may be the center of attention. Don't try making conversation with me! I don't trust anyone here! I'm warning you, there's only one winner at an auction. Everyone here is one of my competitors. <laughs> you think you can fool me? The friendlier they are on the outside, the more devious they are on the inside. Mm, seems like this guy's got a real bad temper. Temper? What temper? I'm perfectly calm, thank you! You're sellers, right? I just got sight of a teddy bear on the bid list. Is that yours? <laughs> you two with your poker faces. You got a trick up your sleeves with that bear. This guy thinks that the whole world is against him. What should we do, honorary member? Don't want me to profit from your item, huh? Well, in that case, I'm definitely gonna solve the mystery of your teddy bear. Ha-ha! <laughs> we could find the auctioneer now and kick off the bidding. Although, there's still some time left. And we could also see if we missed any buyers. I came because I heard there was an auction, but there's nothing I want here. Did the auction house set such a low opening bid? I'm bound to make a loss. Perhaps I should publicize it myself. Oh, I don't like talking to strangers, though. I heard there was something called the Geomero probe at this auction. But I didn't think it would be so pricey. Where did you hear that? What is a Geomero probe exactly? Uh, I'm not sure. But it was Balloway that told me. I'm not sure why he wants it. <sighs> so expensive. There must be a lot of people after for the price to skyrocket like that. Oh, who cares about that probe thing? If there's a teddy bear at the auction, that looks pretty valuable. What's so appealing about a toy? Uh, we're clearly operating on different wavelengths. Teddy bear? I've seen it. The one with the Erebus eyes, right? I was planning on bidding for it. Correct. I rushed over here from a neighboring town and forgot my darn wallet. Well, that can't be helped. But I also have my own items to auction, and a commodity contract. If I can sell my stuff at a good price, I might be able to afford the bear. So, what's the catch? The catch is, I lost the contract. Well, that can't be helped. Not so fast. I. I know where the contract is. 
A robot stole it. And now it's lurking somewhere in the machine graveyard. And I'm too terrified to go after it. <sighs> Just my luck. If I can't retrieve the contract, I won't be able to buy the bear. Approaches. Gonna catch a break. Huh? But that robot stole it. How did you. We defeated the evil robot and got your contact back. Really? Thank you so much. <laughs> now, if I need to sell my items, I'll have enough money to bid on the Erebus Teddy. You two have done me a huge favor. I won't forget it. Outsider, I knew you'd show up. We met before, remember? That's right, so you do remember me. You've obviously come here for the Geomero probe, right? Hey, there are lots of people here who want the same thing as you. Do you remember Balloway, the miner's lamp? He told me everything. By the way, I'm looking for Gertie, manager of the Goethe Grand Hotel. Please tell me if you see her. Gertie's niece will be returning to Boulder Town in a few days. She asked me a while ago if there would be any gifts suitable for children at the auction. I've noticed there are a few more children's items at the auction today, but I haven't seen Gertie anywhere. She hasn't returned to Boulder Town yet, has she? It would be a shame if she couldn't make it to the auction. So Gertie's hunting for children's toys. Maybe we can persuade her to bid on Hook's teddy bear, too.
Are there other matters? Weather's pretty nice, huh? Oh. <laughs> That's your eighth dish. Are there other matters? Oh? What about the auction? I wanted to go and see whether there were any gifts, toys, or dolls that my niece might like. I didn't mind if they were a little more expensive than usual. I just wanted her to be happy. So, I got up early this morning and went to take a look around. Turns out all the items were ancient relics. There was something called a geo marrow probe. It all sounded a little extreme. I went around the whole venue and couldn't find what I was looking for, so I came back early. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, Hook spotted loads of cool stuff at the auction. For example, there's this teddy bear called Jun Jun. Your niece will love him. Oh, really? I guess I must have missed the latest additions. In that case, I'll finish up here and head back to the Vagrant Camp. Oh, thanks so much for letting me know. Has anyone seen my grandson? Oh, finally! Don't run off again. You're such a disobedient... Oh, how many times have I told you to stay close to me? You'll get lost. Oh. Uh, help! My eyes might not be up to much, but I can assure you my brain's working just fine. My grandson is right here. Come on, now let Grandma see that cute little face. Oh, for the love of... You're not my grandson after all. Well, then where has my darling grandson gone to? Oh, dear me. This is dreadful. It's dreadful. So, why are you hanging around here by yourself, Tiny? Yeah, Tiny. Where are your parents? You didn't go out on your own, did you? Hmm. But you brought me over here. My grandma's just over there. Hey, did we give you permission to speak? All right, enough, Mr. Nice Guy. Give us the money, now! Huh? Who the heck are you? Boss, these two must have more money than this brat. Let's rob them instead. Agreed. Get him. For the clock. Your end approaches. That's better. Look out! I can take it. <laughs> Gale for Annihilate. 
you're safe. Go find your family. Uh, that was really brave of you. I hope I can be half as strong as you someday. Thanks so much, guys. I gotta go. the kid we just saved? Oh, it's that brave girl! Grandma! Grandma! They're the ones who saved me! Oh my goodness! Oh, I can't even begin to express my gratitude. Thank you both so much. He's my only grandson, and I don't know what I would have done. Can we buy the teddy bear at the auction, Grandma? I'm sure that teddy bear must have belonged to a nice person. Let's uh, go and take a look. If Grandma wins the auction, don't tell your parents I bought it. Let's pretend it was a gift from this kind young man. Grandma's the best. Aw, they're really sweet. Jun Jun will be super happy if they take him home. Anyway, we should get going. Come on, honorary member. Please wait a moment. The auction will begin shortly. The next item has been provided by Hook, a gemstone collector from Boulder Town. It's a handmade teddy bear adorned with Erebus. An innovative design, it combines incredibly valuable Erebus gemstones with a, a, a good old-fashioned cuddly teddy bear. The opening bid is 300 shield. 325! Oh, you're adding 25. Isn't that... Hey, what's the problem with 325? That's my offer! 350! I'll add another 50! And I'll add 50 to that! Over here! Add another 50! I'm putting my reputation as a gemologist on the line! I have to get my hands on that Erebus! Add another 100 shield! 600 gone once! Any buyers going higher? 600 shield for the Erebus teddy bear going twice! Any other offer? 600 shield going three times and sold! Phew, the gems belong to me. Hmm, I hope this money is enough to buy the probe. You're right, let's do this. The bidding for the Geomaro probe has been postponed due to unanticipated complications at the venue. Please be patient and don't leave the auction if you want to bid on it. Don't worry, everyone. Just a minor technical issue. We'll take a quick break now and the auction will resume soon. A break? Mm, do you think there's something wrong with the Geomaro probe? Let's go ask that staff member. What happened to the Geomero probe? You tell me right now, straight away, immediately. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing to worry about. It's just a technical issue. You don't sound very convincing. <gasps> Did someone steal it? Well, we can't say for sure that it was stolen. We've contacted the seller and sent some people in search. We should soon be able to... Yeah. Why is Wildfire so incompetent? You should have put the moles in charge. I gotta catch the thief and get the probe back. Any ideas, honorary member? Oh. 
Are you suggesting that someone altered the registration form? That's simply not possible. We've been keeping a close eye on everything. Ah, <sighs> fool! What the honorary member means is that the thief only came here to create trouble. They weren't interested in buying or selling, right? I don't have a salary to give. I'm a volunteer. <sighs> Wait a minute. Let me see. Hmm. Aside from you, there was someone else who registered as a buyer but never put in a bid. And I think there was a miner who registered with him. Come on, let's go and interrogate them. Hi, excuse me. May I ask where the miner who registered with you is gone? Him? I think he went back into town. So, he already ran away. He came here saying he wanted to buy the Geo Marrow Probe, but then he changed his mind for some reason and ran back to Boulder Town alone. I don't know him all that well. Why don't you just head into town and look for him? Do you really think he'll turn out to be a thief? I'm not so sure now. <clears throat> anyway, outsiders, you should go and look for him in Boulder Town. I need to make sure the other buyers haven't left. If you don't find anything, the thief might still be among us. Let's head back to Boulder Town and catch the thief! Are there other matters? Hey, you! Did you take the Geomero probe? Hand it over right now! Huh? What? Who are you? Where are the people I'm supposed to meet up with? Honorary member, we shouldn't waste any time talking to him. Let's just knock him out. What could a couple of brats do to me? Do you even know how much the probe is worth? You two better think twice. The boss put in a lot of effort to find this item. If you even... Enough talk! How about a Digger Tron Knuckles sandwich? Gale Force! From the bow! The fight is set. Savor it for me. Okay, enough! I give up, okay? S stay calm! I'll give you the probe. Just listen to me. I overheard the auctioneer say that the Geomero probe would fetch at least 600 shield. 600 shield! Have you ever seen that much money? Why would I lie to you at this point? How about this? The boss, along with a few buddies and I, we put together 600 shield and buy the probe from you. Hmm? No! Hook won't do that! Come on, Missy. Don't be so stubborn. We can talk it over. Mm, I see. You just want to keep the probe to yourselves, right? And here I was thinking I'd met some nice people. You're worse than I am. Uh... Yeah, of course I do. Let's go, honorary member. Back to the auction. Wait a minute. You're just gonna give it back? That's 600 shield! 600! At least think about it! There's nothing to think about, Mr. Thief. I want this detector, but I don't want to be a louse like you. We're gonna win it at the auction fair and square. Let's go.
You got the pro back? Amazing! Fantastic! The owner asked me to pass on 150 shield as a reward for retrieving it. And thanks to you, the auction house has regained its credibility. Please, accept an extra 50 shield. What? 200 shield? Really? You've earned it. Besides, if you win the bid for the Geomero probe, you'll have paid back the seller anyway, right? <laughs> you should check your reflections. Your eyes light up whenever money's involved. Hook generously accepts the reward. We've got 800 shield for the auction! <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, the technical issue has been resolved. The second half of the auction is about to commence. Please gather in an orderly manner. The next item up for auction has been provided by a veteran prospector from the Vagrant Camp. It's an ancient relic, a Geomarrow probe. The item itself was once a key component of another Old World relic, and its one-of-a-kind craftsmanship has long since ceased to exist. This meticulously preserved probe is a rare work of art. The opening bid is 400 shield. 450! 480! 520! 550! 560! Order, order! You're just throwing bids out at random! 650! 700! 720! <laughs> uh, everyone's looking at us! What should we do? 750! 750! Did you hear that, everyone? That's what a one-of-a-kind treasure costs! 750 shield going once! 750 shield going twice! 750 shield going three times and sold! Congratulations to the winner! Honorary member, did I win the bid? Does Hook really get the probe? Hook <laughs> actually won the bid! Big Brother, thank you so much! Hook would never have won the probe without your help! Ah, oh, we've got some money left over. Let's use it on the old witch. She helped Hook repair Jun Jun, so Hook's gonna treat her to some stone-grilled home. As for you, you've earned Hook's verbal praise. <laughs> Don't even think about it. We're not a simple organization. Still, I may consider making you my deputy. Anyway, enough about the moles. <laughs> Thanks for the help, big brother. Let's go see the old witch later. I'll ask her to wrap this probe up as a beautiful gift for daddy. Don't worry, Mr. Svarok. We'll be safe here. Look, you look very happy. Did something good happen? Mine and Daddy's birthday party is starting soon. Can you help me wrap up this gift? I want to surprise Daddy. <sighs> you rascal. <laughs> you only come and find me in situations like this. Please, Natasha. I'll help you clean the clinic for half a month, if you help me. Deal. I can't believe you won such a valuable item. Junjun must have fetched a small fortune, huh? Even with the Erebus, you must have put in a lot of effort to get such a good price. Fursman will be very happy with his gift. 
By the way, Hook, how are your birthday party plans coming along? Have you invited this young man? Oh, not yet! Uh, Big Brother, do you want to come to my birthday party? <laughs> of course not. All members of the moles must obey Pitch Dark Hook the Great's commands. Uh, I'll contact the other members of the moles, too. Come find me when you're ready. We'll go together. Big hero you mentioned is here. Julian, knock it off. Uh, you heard that? Well, don't get too cocky, honorary member. We were talking about the birthday party. You want to hear about it too? Black Gertie always makes a big black bean cake for Hook's birthday. Oh, oh, and Daddy always makes a huge roasted rock crab for me. Uh, he makes my mouth water just thinking about it. And don't forget about Diggertron. Daddy brings a year's worth of machine oil and Diggertron drinks it all up. I'm the boss of the moles. If I don't get enough to eat, how will I have the energy to punish villains? We were talking about the birthday party. You want to hear about it, too? Well, I had to invite Daddy first. Speaking of birthdays, Daddy never used to celebrate them. He only started doing it when he adopted Hook. I also invited other members of the moles and... Oh, yeah, Zila, too! Uh, she couldn't come today, but she said she'd still send me a gift. <laughs> I also invited the old witch, Sweta, and you, of course, the honorary member. We were talking about the birthday party. You want to hear about it, too? I do hope you will forgive the ramblings of an old man, but I, I would like to say a few words. I had no idea when my birthday was before I adopted Hook, and I most certainly did not celebrate it. I didn't realize how important birthday celebrations were until I met my daughter. That is why I chose to have my birthday on the same day as Hook, so that we could celebrate this special day together. That continued year after year, until I too began to look forward to the party. Today is an extra special day. In addition to the moles, Hook has invited a dear and brave new friend. I hope you have a wonderful time at the party today. Natasha told me that you helped Hook retrieve a teddy bear. It used to be that Hook could only fall asleep when she held that bear in her arms. Daddy, don't bring that up. Uh, Hook's grown up now. I can sleep without hugging Jun Jun. Life has gotten increasingly difficult since we left the mining town. All those days away at work have meant that your dad hasn't always been around to look after you. But fortunately, Joan June was always with you to keep you company when I wasn't around. I... Oh, Daddy, I... I have to tell you something. I... I sold Joan June. Huh? You sold him? Oh, don't worry, Daddy. I don't need a doll to keep me company anymore. Natasha, the moles, and the honorary member will keep me company from now on, so I won't be lonely. You sold him. I truly am an incompetent father. I had no idea. Not true. I know you care about me the most, Daddy. I just didn't tell you because I didn't want you to worry. <sighs> Thank you, Hook. 
But the birthday gift I've chosen is... Uh... Huh? What did you get for me, Daddy? This... a teddy bear's cap, clothes, and a dresser, and a little home for him. Toy-making companies are increasingly scarce this year. I had to travel to different towns. I never expected June June might have been sold. <laughs> what a shame. It's okay, Daddy. Don't cry. Uh, Natasha will teach me how to make another doll. Oh, yeah. I got a gift for you, too. Open it and take a look. For me? I'm curious. It's... the Jill Morrow Probe. <laughs> he got me to bid for it at the auction. I bought it with the money I got from selling June June. With this, you should be able to repair the vein detector. Right, Daddy? Daddy? Thank you so much, Hook. Daddy really likes this birthday gift. But, uh... <laughs> I... I might not be able to use it right now. Huh? Well, why not? It's like this, Hook. I... bought your gift with the money I got from selling the vein detector. Huh? So, my gift is also... useless. Oh. Hook, do you still like the gift I got for you? Of course! Your gifts are the best in the world! Well, I feel the same way about your gift, Hook. Me and you are in the same boat. Daddy! <laughs> Outside the window is the universe? The stars look like candy! Endless candy. Well, how do you know? Even if they don't, who's to say there isn't a planet that tastes like honey? All these stars surrounding us? The Express is like a traveling theme park warp jumping through candy. Which means... You live inside a warp chubby candy theme park? Oh, not fair. <laughs> Hook hereby declares the Astral Express the mall's newest adventure route. Full speed ahead, honorary member. 